Hey, what's up, everybody? Marcos Villegas here, and as always, this is your Fight Up TV News Brief. Now, on Tuesday, the UFC signed a historic deal with Reebok for six years that will see Reebok be the official uniform and kit provider of every single UFC fighter on the UFC roster starting July of 2015. Male, female, it doesn't matter. If you're a fighter and you're paid by Zufa, you're mandated to wear these Reebok kits at every single UFC event. Now, what constitutes a UFC event? Well, an official event, like a fight week, something with a press conference in it, a media workout, a post-fight press conference, and even TV tapings or Zufa-produced TV content. All these fighters are going to be required to wear their Reebok kits. Now, Reebok is saying that they're going to customize the kits to every fighter's liking and that they will be compensating every single fighter that steps foot in the octagon based on their rankings. So what that means is if you're a UFC champion, you get paid the most for wearing that Reebok kit inside the ring and your payment gets lower and lower and lower about, I guess, how lower you are in the UFC rankings. Now, every fighter is going to make 20% of every sale from their kit in perpetuity. That means for life. And UFC legends are going to get kits as well. And they're going to be able to cash in on this deal, this 20% for life as well. So that for, for the legends is a good thing. For the fighters, there's still a lot of mixed reactions, and this is where I'm getting to at right now. So with this, what happens to the sponsors that these guys had before? Well, the UFC is saying every single fighter can keep their old sponsor, but they just can't wear any of their gear or any of their sponsor stuff at UFC fights or at UFC events. So anything outside of that, outside of that scope, they're allowed to still sport whatever sponsor they have. But for the days of seeing that fighter walk to the cage with that big old banner, with a bunch of sponsors on it, and their trunks with a bunch of stickers of sponsors, that's done. No more. Donezo. No mas. So is this a good or a bad thing for MMA as a whole? Well, I'm still kind of kind of iffy. I'm still not sure. I see a lot of good, but I also see a lot of bad in it, and especially for the MMA apparel companies, those smaller companies, because I'm a big proponent of small business, and it's you can see it in a way it's big business coming in and kind of pushing out small business. I've spoken to a lot of fighters in boxing and MMA and fighters that fight for the UFC and a lot of mixed reactions. Of course, the fighters outside of the UFC, I want to say about 80% of the ones that I spoke to, uh, feel that the deal is not too great and they list multiple reasons as, you know, what happens if a fighter is really popular but they have really low ranking, uh, what happens to uh, a fighter that has a really good sales team in place whose team really hustled for them and got them a great deal. Now that all goes away. And other fighters saying, you know what, this is really good for beginning fighters because they're going to get paid on time and they're going to get paid a lot more. Now, the fighters that I spoke to that are employed by Zufa, the UFC, uh, they all told me some mixed things. Uh, of course, they don't want to say that they don't agree with it on Twitter or social media because they're worried that the UFC is going to monitor them and monitor them, excuse me, and uh, get them in trouble uh, and some of them, you know, they're, they're kind of like iffy as me. They're, they're not really sure how it's going to work out. They want to wait for their fight to, to happen to see how the payment's going to go on and so forth. So I'm really curious. Is this good or bad? And I'm asking you directly, you guys. You guys are the fans of MMA. You guys live and breathe this stuff. Do you see this as a good or bad thing for the UFC, good or bad thing for the fighters, and good or bad thing for MMA in general and as a whole? Go ahead and comment below on the comic box. I'm going to go ahead and read through your comments and uh, interact with you guys. And we're going to figure this out. If this is a good thing or a bad thing, you'll probably help me make my mind as well. Well, that does it for us over here at the Fight Hub TV studios. Make sure to subscribe to us online at youtube.com slash Fight Hub. Follow us at Fight Hub TV on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And also follow me as well at me, Yamo Marcos, on Twitter at it's Marcos Villegas on the Instagrams. Click like if you like this Mega Man shirt. I think it's cool, but whatever. From the Fight Hub TV studios. As always, I'm Marcos Vegas. Thank you for watching.